I think the surplus city speaks exactly to that, that we have more people, people remaining. than we have opportunities. Right. And, 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 and so let me I, I will say something shortly about the brain drain conversation that that you have started. But let me just make the quick point that whether government creates um, structured projects for people to work abroad, such as the Mkulima Maju project that we were we were uh, we were talking about last week or doesn't, you will have Kenyans moving even into unsafe places to work. I currently have Kenyans in Iraq working OK in Iraq against every ban, against every instruction that people should not be working in Iraq. Kenyans are working in Iraq. They're working in Lebanon. We've had, we ha now, it's a good thing you've raised Lebanon because we are currently working on an evacuation out of mm. Lebanon, right? There has been a ban on labor migration to, to Lebanon since September of last year. But in the last two years, we've seen the number of Kenyans double in Lebanon. I currently, we currently have 26,500 and I want to say 99 as at yesterday, uh, Kenyans in Lebanon. The day we started uh, issuing, con uh, issuing notices about evacuation, asking Kenyans to sign up, to register, to be evacuated, I had six Kenyans arriving in Beirut that morning. So the idea that government is moving people is not accurate. Kenyans are moving even to places where we have told them, please do not go here. It is not safe. And then they will just not declare where they are going. We currently have a crisis in Thailand, Myanmar, Lao PDR, uh, Vietnam of trafficking. We have given advice after advice after, after, after advice. And I probably even spoke about it the last time I was here about Kenyans being trafficked into these spaces because they have seen an advert for uh, call center jobs, yep. teaching, da, 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 and so on. And we have said these jobs do not exist. They're also, fake. if you hear about a job in a particular country, contact us and we will verify it for you. And we do this at no cost. Mm. We will let you know whether that job exists or not. But Kenyans will still go okay why so, so the, po the point i'm making latif is this mm. that you do have we do have structured programs and the reason we structure programs is exactly so that we can work protection mechanisms into these projects the reason you see government negotiating bilateral labor agreements and the ministry of labor leads that mm. is so that we are able to say if kenyans are going to come and work here these are the minimum standards this is the minimum pay this is what we expect from the other government in terms of facilitation not just for visas but for evacuations for repatriations and so on so we do the protection work okay but we are also aware, and this is the point I think that I, I need to make, an opportunity exists here. There is a global labor market. If we had the unemployment problem that we have now and there wasn't a global labor market, then we would be in a real, a, a real big pinch. Mm. But there is a global labor market that is looking for skill that Kenyans have. 